In this video, we will look at how we can multiply and divide with mixed numbers. Because there's no convenient way to multiply and divide mixed numbers, we're gonna cheat, and we're gonna first change to a fraction. In other words, we will rewrite the mixed number as an improper fraction, where it is easy to multiply two fractions together by reducing and then multiplying straight across. And then once we have our answer, we will change back to a mixed number. And that will give us our final mixed number product, or quotient, for the problem. Let's take a look at a multiplication example. Here, we're multiplying 4 and 1 8 by 2 and 5 6 Rather than multiplying the mixed numbers, with multiplication and division, we'll find it's easier to convert to improper fractions. Moving around the first mixed number, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 gives us 33 eighths times Moving around the second mixed number, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17 sixth. We're now ready to multiply, and we remember that with multiplication and multiplication only, we're allowed to reduce at the beginning of the problem. Diagonally, 33 and 6 are both divisible by 3. 33 divided by 3 is 11, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. I'm going to write that in a different color so it shows up better. There we go. Now we're ready to multiply straight across. In the numerator, 11 times 17. Might need some chicken scratch for that. I'm going to put the 17 on top. 1 times 7, 1 times 1, 0 placeholder, 1 times 7, 1 times 1, we get 187. 187 in the numerator, and in the denominator, 8 times 2 is 16. This is our product, but since the original problem had a mixed number in it, we want to convert back to a mixed number. So to do that, we will use the fact that the fraction bar really means divide 16 into 187. 16 goes into 18 once. So we'll subtract 16, bring down the 7. 16 goes into 27 once as well. 1 times 16 is 16, we get 11. That's kind of interesting. We have 11 with a remainder of 11. And so we convert that to a mixed number, 11, the whole number. And then the remainder becomes my new numerator, 11 and 11 sixteenths for our final solution. Let's try a division problem. This division problem, 9 and 1 3rd divided by 2 and 5 6 is gonna work very similar to how we work the multiplication problem. Change it to a fraction by multiplying 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28 thirds. Divided by 2 times 6 is 12, plus 5 is 17 sixth. Again, with division, we know we have to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction, 28 thirds times 6 over 17. We can now go back and reduce. 6 and 3 are both divisible by 3, 1 and 2 times. And when we multiply across, 2 times 28, is 56, and 1 times 17 is 17. To convert this back to a mixed number, we simply divide 17 into 56. It goes in there 3 times, and 3 times 17 is 51. When we subtract, we find we have a remainder of 5. It's a mixed number, we have 3 holes, and 5, over the denominator of 17. Again, to multiply and divide fractions with mixed numbers, convert to a fraction, multiply or divide, and convert back.